Hey there YouTube, this is NerdsWBNerds here. I'm going to show you how to set up my VWalls plugin in less than a minute. So, you download this, it's called Wall Setup, it'll be a zip file when you download it. Link is in the description. You download this, and then you extract it, and this is what you get. Now, this server.bat, if you have either Java 7 as your thing that you're using, or you have Java installed on a 64-bit machine and the version of Java you installed is 32-bit. This will probably not work. Uh, it's it's not that big of a deal. Just just go to the Bucket website if you don't already know how. This is I'm assuming you know nothing. Go to the Bucket website, look up how to make a Bucket server, and just uh, take these files up here and move them wherever you want instead of these two with it. So you move all this over to the setup server or whatever server you have. If you already have a server, make a backup because this will override some of your files. Don't call it backup because I actually have something called backup and that is very important. If you override that or combine that with something, you're going to mess everything up. So, uh, as you can see, we have World 1 through 8. These are the lobbies, so you can have eight different games going at a time. I have backup, which is the backup thing that it will restore everything from. I have multiverse permissions and the the wall is my plugin. Now you do need to go into permissions and change your name, put your name here, whatever. You can change these permissions. If you don't want to have people in creative when they're in the waiting area waiting to get into a game so they can do things like parkour or you don't want people to be able to spectate other people who are currently in a game, you can change these permissions however you like. Now you come back and you just do server.bat generate the files that goes along with a server. It's creating a couple of worlds here, so give it a second. Okay, and the wall's enabling, and then after that it says done. See, there's no error here. If something was wrong, it would say the walls could not start up for blah, 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 but it didn't. So everything's working. So I can come in here, go to my local server, and as you can see, it says successfully added to team, and that means that it's working. And if you get teleported to this place, this is just my little waiting area. You can change this however you like. Like, do forward slash quit first because you can't do anything if you're in the waiting queue. Um, let me show you an example. This is not your website, so you don't need that. Uh, you don't want people using the donate command, which no longer even exists. So I'm probably going to take that out of the template world. Um, yeah, so that's it. Now if you do forward slash lobby, you can see that there are eight different lobbies. There's no one in the waiting queue because you left it. Uh, if there were enough port people, four people on separate teams, uh, a game would go ahead and start. So everything is working now. So everything works. If you want to know how to add a new world, go to the description and uh, click the link. That will bring you to a different video that shows you how to add a new world. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Thanks for watching.